I'm in Brighton. I'm standing in front of a castle. That's right. King George IV lived right there. This city is about 45 minutes from London, and I am super excited to see why this magical seaside city is the queerest city in the UK. I have 24 hours to get her done and to fall in love. This is Brighton. 24 hours, get over with Robbie around the world. After a sensible seven and a half hour plane ride sponsored by JetBlue sitting in that mint class, which not gonna lie was everything, I have arrived in the glorious city of Brighton. Now, if you wanna stay waterfront, have gorgeous views with incredible light, you must stay at Selena Brighton. Now it's time to see what lights up the folks who live here in Brighton. What gives you life and energy about Brighton? It's the most easygoing, tolerant, uh, accepting space. You can be whoever you want to be in Brighton. Community, like connecting with people, I think, and the sea. As a queer person of colour, being able to connect to other queer people of colour. We find each other and that's what gives me life. Fun, freedom, very bohemian, very arty, shabby chic. Generally, most people are pretty laid back. They're very accepting of each other. Freedom that you get on every single street corner in this city. We are so visible. It's the sun, it's the sea, it's everyone being gay. <laughs> I've been out for just over a year now, after 48 years of hell, um, and I've never experienced any trouble, anything at all. I feel, I feel normal. Brighton is a place with a kind of like a history of activism. Brighton is probably the best part of the UK to be trans. The gay scene, it's just amazing. It's like there's nowhere in the world like it. The whole city, love it. The gay vibe, every vibe. The vibes, the energy, love it. You're gonna meet lots of boys, lots of girls, and everything in between. Uh, well, I feel really lucky to live here because I can go to the beach on the morning, swim, get in a kayak, and also the nightlife as well. You can be yourself, you can wear whatever you want, and you can do what you want, and no one will judge you forever, anything. Now, do you think I'll meet my next ex-husband here in Brighton? Yeah, me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I still got it. Now it's time to see this city. One thing I'd recommend is if you're coming here to Brighton, get out of the city and come explore the vast wineries. Now let's learn about the queer history here in Brighton. We're the gay capital. We are, UK. we are indeed. How did that come to be? Um, well, one reason, we're a holiday place. And as you know, when you're on holiday, you're away from your everyday industrial town. Uh, so you can, you can explore different sides of yourself. Some sure. people have been coming to Brighton for the last 270 years. And why this particular stretch of coast we're the nearest south coast to London. So we've always been the place for Londoners to escape for whatever reason they like. You know, straight people brought their mistresses down for the dirty weekend a hundred years ago. Yeah. Uh, so we've always been a place, yeah, a place of escape and, and, and for alternative ways of life as well. And when did gay marriage pass here? Okay, it was 2014. 2014. Yeah, yeah. But the queer culture here existed many years before that. Yeah, yeah. And we have records dating back to at least the 1820s of people arrested for propositioning uh, soldiers here in Brighton. Uh, and then many, many, many visitors, including um, Anne Lister, who wrote the uh, secret lesbian yes, diaries, Gentleman Jack. Uh, so she was a visitor to Brighton. The writer Oscar Wilde was a regular visitor here. He came to lecture, he, came, he wrote the importance of being earnest in the uh, neighboring seaside resort. Let's talk about what to pack here. 
It's July and it is three degrees. And yes, I know I'm wearing a tank top, but if you come to Brighton, like maybe pack one shirt that's like a button down or a hoodie. Because Elle Woods, my suitcase, who rest in peace because she had a hole in it and I don't know how she's getting home. Elle Woods has about 37 tank tops and I've worn two. Another place not to wear tank tops or really anything is Duke's Mound Nude Beach. After freezing my tuchus in the water, let's explore the food scene. Curry Leaf Cafe offers affordable and exquisite Indian food. Giggling Squid is super cute with mouth-watering Thai food smack in the middle of the lanes. No Catch is giving vegan chips and fish realness. And Food for Friends has the most epic vegetarian food. I might have over ordered for this party of one, but now let's get into the queer nightlife. The Actors is a queer and trans focused community space welcoming to all. The Village gives campy drag realness. Queen's Arms offers a packed house any day of the week with fierce drag. Center stage is the place to be for show tunes galore. Bulldog is the local divey jaunt. End your night being legendary at Legends Dancing Your Face Off. After that night, I need just the tip. Okay, just the tip. <laughs> if you can give our viewers one tip. If you're queer and you're visiting Brighton, what's yep. your tip? Be friendly and be open. Like, don't have no expectations. Just come here, be yourself, and be friendly. Enjoy the whole city. Don't just stick in the gay area. Be fabulous, like me. Check out the, the wine scene as well. It's not just the gays and the nightlife. Let's talk about the sea for a second. Yeah. I went to the nude beach today. Oh my God, I love it. Um, yes. Okay, yes, sure. Yes. But uh, mm. walking into the water on the pebbles, What's with the pebbles? You don't have sand oh, here. Oh, baby, no you, need, you need sliders or something. <laughs> you need to, I, wear, I have these little, um, like, socks, with, like, sea sock things sure. that I wear to go, and I look like weird. Okay, so just the tip. If yeah. you're visiting here and you go to the nude beach, bring your sliders. Yeah. Brian, you are the queerest city in the UK, and you have welcomed me and my 97 ball gowns and clock fans with open arms. Your drag scene is invigorating. Your arts and culture are timely and at the forefront. Your pier is iconic. Now, when y'all come here, don't just stay in the lanes. Explore the vineyards and the beaches. Thank you so much, Visit Britain, for bringing me here to explore another side of Great Britain, where I actually met 17 next ex-husbands. Go Brighton. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Just the tip, if you're here at the pier and you get ice cream, don't try to take a lavish photo or a video because what will happen, Barry? Snatch it out of your hands. The bird took his ice cream. I'm a real boy.